In our previous example, we had a slightly unlevel horizon line. There's many things that can get in the way, whether you're shooting handheld, standing on a sloped surface, or maybe didn't take the time to perfectly balance your tripod. Fortunately, during post-production, it's really easy to straighten the image, and we have a couple of ways of doing this. If we're working with a traditional image that's already open, one of the easiest things to do is to go to the eyedropper tool and click, and you'll see a tool called the ruler tool. With the ruler tool selected, you could pick something that you want to use to balance things. For example, maybe it's this fence line here. And if I click straighten layer, you see that it rotates the canvas slightly. Let's undo. You also might decide to use something about the photo. For example, notice this repeating line down the center of the front of the building here. This allows me to drag through that, using that as a general guide, and then again, I can click Straighten Layer, and you see that the photo is properly composed, allowing us to easily adjust that. Once you've straightened the layer, you might find that you need to fill in some empty pixels or crop. In this case, I'll just press C for crop and choose the original ratio of the photo, and I can move the corners in just slightly to compensate and press return. You also can use Generative Expand, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and revert for a moment to the original image, and I'll show you one other way. When opening a RAW file, or if you want to use it after the fact, the ability of Camera Raw to straighten an image is pretty powerful. Let's go ahead and work with this layer here, but I'm gonna right click and first convert it to a smart object so the filters are non-destructive. Now I'll choose Filter, Camera Raw Filter. This will open up the Camera Raw interface even if you're not working with a raw file. Now take a look at the second set of tools here, Geometry. You'll find the Upright command. For example, you could apply a simple Level or Vertical. And depending on what you choose, there may be a pretty aggressive balance. What I generally prefer here is to actually draw my own lines. And so I'm gonna specify, like before, that this is the center. And then I'm gonna go off of the fence line. And as you do, you'll notice how the picture begins to recompose. This worked a lot better because there was a lot of tricky angles in this photo. And by choosing a floor and a vertical, I was able to correct. You can continue to add additional guides if you want, but if you add additional ones, you'll notice that the image starts to transform pretty aggressively. In this case, while I leveled out the front, I've completely distorted the image, so I'm gonna choose Undo. Using simply two lines here was a good transformation. I really like that change, and if I wanna see it, I can press and put them side by side to see my transformation. In this case, it feels like a good balancing of the image without overdoing it. Once I'm all set, I can click OK, and that change is applied. So whether you choose to use the ruler tool or you choose to use the camera raw interface or filter, it's quite possible to draw lines to guide how your image is straightened. This is a great way after the fact to consider your options and to get a more balanced image.